features adoptable pets from the Arizona Humane Society. This is Rita, a one-year-old corgi chihuahua mix who was rescued by emergency animal medical technicians after she had been abandoned, poor thing. And Lisa, sadly, Rita's story isn't uncommon. Our team rescues many pets every year that have been forgotten and left behind. Yeah, many pets. When Ashley says many pets, she isn't kidding. 1,660 pets so far this year that have been abandoned. There's so many resources out there for people, but unfortunately, Rita was one of those 1,660 pets abandoned. Our EAMTs uh, were called out to an abandoned dog, and they get out on scene, and this is what they see, this adorable, pitiful, she's giving you her best sad face. Um, but she was just happy as could be when somebody finally came to that back gate to let her out. She went running up to her rescuer's arms and um, brought her back just to check her out. No problems with her. She's healthy. She's been spayed now. She's had all of her vaccines. And uh, as you can see, she's uh, me like a good medium size, maybe what I would say like an 11, 10, 11 pound dog. She's full grown at one year, so she's not going to get any bigger. She's your perfect tag along type of friend. Her perfect day would be just heading out on a patio with a cup of coffee with you or maybe meeting some of your friends on a Saturday at Einstein's. She would love any of that. She's very, very friendly and she's shy, but she greets everyone with a tail wag and a kiss. So little uh, Rita here is looking for somebody who is looking for their little shadow. Never wants to be abandoned again. Whenever, every time I walk past her kennel, she is all wiggles. She's being very um, meek on the show today, but she is one happy kiddo when you get her out and about. All right, we'll dress up your dog and the kids and head to the shops in Norterra on October 20th for the Halloween Spooktacular event. There'll be trunk or treating, live music, a car show, and lots of family fun. The Arizona Humane Society's Petite Retail is hosting the... Um, Pet costume contest that's a $10 entry fee and it benefits the pets at our shelter and winners receive gift baskets and other goodies. The main stage is near Buffalo Wild Wings and Pita Jungle and there's more information on our website. It's azhumane.org forward slash events. Now it's National Pitbull Awareness Month and sadly the breed gets a bad rap. So we wanted to introduce you to a pity ambassador <laughs> on the show today. His name is Rocky and uh, he is one social pup. Everyone at the shelter, the staff volunteers just love this guy, Perry. Yeah, Ashley, the, you know, the people who work in shelters, volunteer in shelters, staff and volunteers alike, this is the American Pit Bull Terrier that we're used to. So I know there's lots of bad stories out there, but these are the guys that we interact with every day. And this is very, very typical. We could have brought in a lot of other ambassadors of the breed right now, but Rocky is a really, really good one. He is very strong, as they all are, so you have to have some sense of handling a dog. He's very, very strong, but he actually walks pretty good on leash. I was told that he needs some work on his leash training, but he's actually pretty good. He is house trained. He's got that big perpetual smile all the time. He greets everybody with a big tail wag. He's walking around the studio, smiling at the cats at the other dogs in here he is one great boy i understand he lived with some little chihuahuas in the house who were bossing him around so that's how big and tough this guy is he is one spectacular dog of any breed so come on down and get the big rock well, if you want to adopt Rocky, you should start heading to Metro Center Mall now because after the show today, Rocky will be making his appearance advocating for his breed during the fourth annual Pity Palooza event. It's going on until 2 p.m. today. Thanks to generous funding from the Fix It Up Save Alliance and Nina Mason Polium Trust, we'll also be giving away free spay and neuter vouchers, offering free pet vaccinations for dogs and cats at the event. And of course, there'll be several adoptable pit bull ambassadors looking for homes for just $20. There's more information at fixadoptsave.org. Now, this seven-pound ball of fluff is Leo. His family was moving and couldn't take him along. He spent some time hopping around my office. He's a delightful little guy. Denise, tell us more about this pretty boy. This guy is very mellow, and he, although he's going to need a lot of exercise and a lot of socialization, he's going to be completely happy sitting on your lap while you relax watching TV. Bunnies make wonderful pets, but they do require a special diet. The most important thing that you can feed your bunny is Timothy hay. Like we have an example over here. Um, follow that with some healthy veggies. Like bunnies love cilantro, I know, and I think Leo probably loves cilantro too. We have examples of broccoli here and also um, 
fruits can be a good treat like apples. And then you can follow that up with some um, special rabbit pellets. But the most important thing is hay. Um, for litter boxes, bunnies can be litter trained and we recommend using Carefresh, which is soft on their feet. So you don't wanna use something like um, kitty litter, which can get all over their um, feet and be very uncomfortable. But like I said, bunnies make great pets. They can live eight to 10 years um, and they make wonderful first time pets. So we have an example of an enclosure. So bunnies need a lot of room. So um, we recommend setting up an E-pen or an X-pen like we have here in the picture where a bunny can have some hiding places like um, so he can feel secure and lots of areas to get lots of exercise. Thanks so much, Denise, of those tips. Hopefully you can find little Leo a home. Last week alone, our Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital treated over 700 sick or injured homeless pets, including Macaroni Mick. Lisa, tell us his story. Macaroni Mick was a stray, came in a couple months ago, um, hit by a car, and he had a broken back leg. So if I could just get him to stand up, perfect, there we go. You can see his little butt is shaved, and he favors that back leg just a little bit. Um, he had a procedure called an FHO. It's just a little fracture at the top of the leg. They did surgery, and they took out the part of the bone that was broken off. And what dogs like Mick need after an FHO is a healthy walking partner. Poor Mick waited two months, and we just didn't find the right foster for him. He is a three-year-old purebred cattle dog, so he's been recovering in the hospital. We've all been loving on him. And now that he is cleared for adoption, all he's looking for is just somebody. You'll notice a little hitch in his step on the back. That's just building the muscle back up. Now that he is healed and ready for full activity, Cattle dogs are an active breed, so he is ready for a slow return. Take him for gentle walks. Swimming would be great for him if he likes water. He's going to be quite the outdoorsman. He's got his camo bandana. He's ready to go hiking with you as well. But um, three years old, he's just one of the injured pets treated in our second chance animal trauma hospital, given a second chance. And this little guy leaves four-legged, and he's ready to recover and move on to his second chapter, which is a happy family. All right, stay with us. The cuteness continues with this boxer puppy and his litter mates when we come back.